Have you ever heard of OpenAI or GBT? Have you ever wondered what they are and why they are so important? These are the most important AI technologies in the world right now. In the past few years, artificial intelligence AI, has become more popular and has been used in many different ways. One of the most popular forms of AI is Open Source AI and GBT, which stands for a pre-trainer predictive model that can be used to create natural language processing models that can generate text, images, and other data. Hello, and welcome to our channel, In Wonder. In this video, we will explore what OpenAI and GPT are, how they work, and their implications for the future. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this. Let's dive in. What exactly are OpenAI and GPT? OpenAI is a research lab that Elon Musk and Sam Altman set up in 2015. The goal of OpenAI is to develop artificial general intelligence that can be used to solve complex problems. It works to promote and develop friendly artificial intelligence AI, in a way that helps all people. They do this by creating and open-sourcing advanced AI technologies and conducting research on the impact and safety of AI. GPT, or Generative Pre-Training Transformer, is a machine learning model developed by OpenAI. It is a type of language model that uses unsupervised learning to generate human-like text. The model is trained on a large dataset of text, such as books, articles, and websites, and then uses that information to generate new text that is similar to the input it was trained on. GPT uses a neural network architecture called the Transformer, which was introduced in a 2017 Google paper. The Transformer architecture makes it easier for GPT to handle sequential data, like text, than models that came before it. You know that technology is constantly updating. The same goes for OpenAI and GPT. GPT-3 is the most recent version of the GPT. It is the third generation of the model. It has 175 billion parameters, making it one of the largest models ever created. The model can be tweaked to do many different natural language processing tasks, such as translating languages, answering questions, and summarizing text. The model has also been used in several applications, such as writing, coding, and even composing music. GPT-3 is also used in chatbots, Hello, Dr. virtual assistants, and other AI applications that involve natural language understanding and generation. So you can see that GPT is a powerful tool that has the ability to generate human-like text. But it's important to remember that it is just a tool, and it's up to us to use it ethically and for the betterment of humanity. How do OpenAI and GPT work? OpenAI and GPT are like the mad scientists of the AI world, experimenting with all kinds of techniques to generate text, images, and other data. GPT, in particular, is like a wizard with a magic wand. No, no, definitely not waving it to conjure up human-like text out of thin air, and the secret to its magic, the transformer technique. You see, the transformer is a type of neural network that's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. It takes a sequence of words or characters, which is like a bunch of puzzle pieces, and rearranges them to create a new, more meaningful sequence of words or characters. It's like taking a random jumble of puzzle pieces and turning them into a beautiful image. But GPT's transformer is no ordinary puzzle solver. It's been trained on a massive amount of data, like a library of books, articles, and websites, making it a master of understanding and generating language. So when it gets a new input sequence, it's like a seasoned pro, quickly rearranging the pieces to create a new coherent output. We can say in short that GPT's transformer is taking a jumble of words and characters and turning them into a masterpiece of language. So go ahead and throw any challenge at it. They will master it with ease. What are the benefits of OpenAI and GBT? OpenAI and GBT are like the superheroes of the AI world. Saving the day with their superhuman abilities to generate text, images, and other data quickly and accurately. You can say they work like the flash of text generation, 
the Superman of Image Recognition, and the Wonder Woman of Natural Language Processing (LP). One of the main benefits of OpenAI and GPT is that they can generate large amounts of data in a matter of seconds. They're like the energizer bunnies of data generation. They just keep going and going. This makes them ideal for tasks that require a lot of data, like training other models, language translation, text summarization, and the like. Moreover, OpenAI and GPT are open sources, meaning that anyone can use them for free. This makes them accessible to anyone who wants to use them for their own projects. Whether you're a student, a researcher, or a small business owner, it's like giving everyone the keys to a Ferrari. You don't have to be rich to enjoy the ride. Whee! With OpenAI and GPT in your toolbox, you'll be able to tackle any project with ease. How are OpenAI and GPT used? OpenAI and GPT are comparable to Chameleons, since they can handle any task that is put at them. With a tool for every task and a skill for every difficulty, they are like the master of all trades and the jack of all trades. For instance, OpenAI and GPT are comparable to the Shakespeare of text production, the Poe of sentiment analysis, and the Hemingway of language translation. When it comes to natural language processing (NLP) activities, they have no trouble producing, comprehending, and translating material. However, their strengths lie not only in natural language processing (NLP) but also in image identification, caption generation, and data mining. They have the ability to precisely mine data, add captions to photographs, and identify objects and images. In addition to that, GPT and OpenAI can be used to create recommendation systems, generate music and poetry, create chatbots and virtual assistants, and much more. So you can see that they can be used in so many ways and are so powerful that the possibilities are endless. What are the limitations of OpenAI and GPT? OpenAI is a cutting-edge research organization that has made significant strides in the field of artificial intelligence. However, like any technology, it has its limitations. The fact that OpenAI's GPT model doesn't understand the context in which it is making up text is one of its biggest flaws. For instance, say you are using GPT to make a news story about a new medical discovery. GPT might make a very clear and well-written article. But it might not think about the ethical implications of the discovery or the bad things that might happen to certain groups of people. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Shock delivered. Another limitation is that GPT is only as good as the data it has been trained on. If the data used to train the model is biased or incomplete, the results will also be biased. Assume that GPT was trained on a dataset that underrepresented women and people of color. When generating text about a diverse group of people, GPT may perpetuate harmful stereotypes and inaccuracies about those groups. Despite these limitations, OpenAI continues to push the boundaries of what is possible with artificial intelligence. GPT and other AI models can be used for the good of society if they are carefully thought out and follow ethical rules. Researchers can reduce the risk of harmful bias in the models by using methods like bias mitigation and data collection from a variety of sources. Finally, OpenAI and GPT are like having a personal robotic writing assistant at your disposal. They can create text, images, and other kinds of data quickly and accurately, which makes them a valuable part of any project. Every powerful thing has their limitations. The OpenAI and GPT are not any different. They might need help processing a lot of data at once and might not be suitable for some kinds of tasks. However, it's important to remember that these limitations do not diminish the overall usefulness of OpenAI and GPT. They are still incredibly powerful tools that can be leveraged to achieve a variety of objectives, much like how a Swiss Army knife can be used for many different things but not excel at everything. We hope you found the information and tips we shared helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with others who might be interested. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this. Thanks for watching.